Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, I'm going to answer a viewer question, and that is, if I go to an IME doctor or a DME doctor, a doctor that the company sends you to, to be examined for their purposes, can that doctor send you to work? Can that guy prescribe medicine to you? Can he tell you what kind of treatment to get? Okay, so it's actually a little bit of a complicated question, but it's actually not that complicated. So an IME doctor can examine you and definitely give opinions, okay? They can definitely give an opinion about this guy can go back to work full duty or this guy needs light duty. They give an opinion about whether your problems are work-related or not work-related. They can say he needs this surgery or he needs this therapy or he doesn't need this treatment or he doesn't need that treatment. Okay, so he can give all the opinions that any other doctor gives, but the difference is, the key thing is for you, who have you chosen as your treating doctor? Okay, your treating doctor is the doctor you pick whose advice you're going to follow. So in a lot of my cases, it doesn't matter to me what the IME doctor's opinion is, because remember, the IME or DME is hired to beat your case. They are not, some of them are, are relatively neutral, but they are being hired to find a medical issue, a medical defense for the insurance company. That's what they're there for. That's why the insurance company pays them, and those doctors make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing these IME or DME examinations over and over and over because they give the insurance companies the opinions that the insurance companies want. And the insurance companies don't want opinions that mean you get paid a lot for your injury, okay? They cap it, they give the insurance company a defense or a reason to deny, all right? Now, I always tell people, you follow the advice of your treating doctor. If your treating doctor thinks you can go back to work, then you go back to work. If your treating doctor uh, is prescribing treatment for you, then you get that treatment. You do not have to follow the advice of the IME doctor, and usually you shouldn't, because the IME or DME doctor is not examining you to really help you. They're examining you because an insurance company that doesn't want to pay you any money has asked them to do it, okay? So you're better off treating uh, treating with your family doctor. Now, there is, a, there is a, a more advanced wrinkle here, and I'm just going to mention it in passing. When we have a contested case, like they don't think it's a case, we think it's a case, our doctor's on our side, and our doctor says no work at all, their doctor says light duty work, I will sometimes tell my client, listen, try it. Go and try to do the light duty. If they are asking you to do things that are beyond light duty, you let me know and you let your doctor know because that's not within your work restriction and you're going to get hurt worse. Um, but why do, why do we do that? Remember, in contested cases, the case is ultimately going to be decided by a judge and we want the judge to think that you and I are the most reasonable people in the courtroom. And so when we have a doctor who says he shouldn't be working, uh, IME doctor says he can work four hours a day, sitting only, no right-handed work, and the company wants to accommodate you and make you go in there and sit at a desk all day doing nothing, um, if you're willing to do it, it's a clear signal to the judge that you're reasonable, that you want to get better, you know, and all that. And so here's another example. Our doctor says you need a serious neck injury. The IME doctor says he would try a less serious procedure first. Maybe, now that their own doctor says that there's a neck surgery that might help you, sometimes I say to my client, we will take away all of the power of the defense if you agree to that lesser neck surgery, okay? And if it doesn't work for you, their defense is gone, then they have to pay for the more serious surgery. Or sometimes they'll say, we want you to try therapy first, or we want you to try injections first. Who cares? If it's going to make sure your benefits are getting paid, and you have less stress, and you're getting 
the necessary medical care and the money while you're off work paid, then that's something we do. But the general rule is follow your doctor, your treating doctor, the one you chose to be your doctor and the one who, who, whose advice you're going to listen to. The IME can render opinions, but usually their opinions are just for purposes of beating your case so you don't have to follow them or you shouldn't follow them. If your lawyer tells you to follow them, there, there, may, there may be a good reason, but usually not. Okay? So that's how all that works. That's a viewer question for a guy who asked me another question, and I guess this is a more detailed version of it. But anyway, I hope that information helps you. Hope you and your family are doing great. Um, and if, God forbid, anybody has been involved in an accident or somebody has a question about an injury case, or if you'd like to refer somebody to me, I'd really appreciate it. That's how I make my money. I'm an injury lawyer. So any kind of case, car crash, dog bite, bar fight, work injury, fall down, injury on property, nursing home abuse, medical malpractice, whatever it is, if it's a wrongfully caused injury, that's what I do, and I'd love to hear from you. The best way to do it, you can call me 24 hours a day, anytime, day or night, 312-500-4500, free consultation, any day of the week, any time of day, middle of the night, middle of the afternoon, early morning, you call that number, it's going to get picked up, 312-500-4500. But what if you're not quite ready to talk to a lawyer? What if you want killer, invaluable information about your particular situation? but you don't have a bunch of time and you don't want to talk to a lawyer. I got you covered. I've got two killer tools that people are going crazy about. Tons of people are using the to these tools. Uh, they love them. One is called the Case Cash Calculator. It tells you what your case might be worth. The other one is the Good Case Calculator. It tells you whether you might have a good case or a case with some real challenges. Okay. Links in the description, they are free. They're on my website, built by me, to give you custom information about your particular situation, all for free, without talking to a lawyer, and here's the best part. You answer seven or eight multiple choice questions off the top of your head, and in 20 seconds or less, you get that custom information about your situation without talking to a lawyer, and for free and here's a here's the deal links in the description for the case cash calculator and the good case calculator free to use free to share share them with your friends like i said i am getting so many positive comments positive emails phone calls some people even mention it in the reviews but you know the bottom line is people really find value so maybe you want to check those out too um I just want to remind you, my YouTube channel now has well over 300 injury videos that explains all the aspects. All of those videos are completely free to watch on my website, so check them out. And consider scribe, subscribing so you, so you get notified when I release a new video. Hit the bell icon, and it will send you a notification in YouTube every time I release a new video. Okay? Um, what else? Oh, give me a thumbs up, because when you give a video a thumbs up, it signals to YouTube to share the video with more people, and the goal here is to share, you know, essential information with injured people so they don't fall into insurance company traps that beat their cases or reduce what they get, okay? Uh, last thing is, if you're a current or former client, or if you're a viewer, or you, uh, a subscriber or you enjoy my videos or you've used the case cash calculator or the good case calculator or my injury cheat sheet my book my CD my DVD any of the free information and advice I give to injured people for free and you wouldn't mind doing me a favor it would really help me out I'm in a very crowded competitive market and the more five-star Google reviews I can get the more people will hire me and the more people I can help so there's a link in the description uh, all you do is go to that website on your phone, tablet, or computer. It takes you right to the page. Click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit. Five or ten seconds of work for you, but an invaluable favor to me, which I will always appreciate and I will never forget. So if you don't mind doing that, that's great. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, that's okay too. We're still friends. Please enjoy the videos on my channel. Please subscribe. And of course, if I can be of assistance to you, or anyone you know who's been involved in an accident, 
please don't hesitate to give me a call, 312-500-4500. I hope you and your family are healthy and safe. And once again, if there's anything I can do, give me a call. Have a great day. Take care.